Well, we love space here in Northeast Ohio, and now the big question is, could we actually have astronauts right here in our own backyard? And it looks like that may be a possibility uh, as a giant leap was taken last night in the city of Brook Park. They passed legislation to make a training facility possible. Yeah, we first brought this to story to you last week. It's, it's super exciting yeah. to know that something like that is going to be going on right here in our backyard. Emma Henderson with us now. She has an update on the latest news here, and it looks like this is much closer to becoming a reality. That's exactly right. So let's just go through some of the numbers of what this means, let alone the experience of having this facility that prepares people to work in extreme environments right here in Northeast Ohio. What's expected is a 12 acre, $250 million facility designed for training geared toward astronauts. Projected estimates show an expected 120 jobs to come with the completed facility, along with an additional 65 jobs in a hotel that would be built alongside the training areas. And that includes $85 million of construction work coming to Brook Park. Build the technology here in Brook Park to get that rocket from ground to space. Now we have to train the people that will be able to get there and do the work. The CEO of Blue Abyss says he expects they will be able to begin training people at this facility in about two and a half years. Now, we weren't initially Blue Abyss's first choice, but the CEO says after he came here, saw the area, its access and proximity to the NASA Glenn Research Center, he was sold. It is so exciting. Yes. Obviously, you know, astronaut history here in Ohio right. is kind of a big deal. And believe it or <laughs> not, we do not have any Ohio astronauts in the pipeline right now. Wow. That's Crazy. Yeah, that is surprising. Sonny Williams is like the last one. Wow. So we this may be able to like get some some new growth generated there. Are there any other pr professions besides astronauts that may be able to use this facility? Well, for anyone who knows anything about the way astronauts train, especially underwater, yep. it would not surprise people to know that deep sea diving is included in that. So it'll be a giant pool that will be used for divers and astronauts and can stimulate those extreme, extreme environments. Yeah, the pictures we're seeing there of the UK version mm -hmm. of this 160 foot deep pool. Can you imagine? Uh, in one part, it kind of goes down straight into this pit. Uh, and they're down there flipping around in the Sounds videos. Me. I'm just curious how, <laughs> as a former lifeguard, I'm just curious how you like lifeguard something like that. I yeah. would hope that they're they're good enough swimmers if they're getting in I, that pool that, that they know things are going. I would hope so. Awesome. Such exciting news. Yeah, cool story. Thank you so much.